All right guys, so a question I'm getting from quite a few of you is, is it okay to use pink Himalayan sea salt for my saltwater soaks? Yes, of course. Um, Himalayan sea salts are great. Um, they are pretty much so a non-iodized sea salt. Um, if you are gonna use Himalayan sea salts for your saltwater soaks, just make sure it's the fine grain stuff. Um, the fine grain stuff just tends to dissolve a little bit easier in your water um, than say like the more coarse stuff. So pick up the fine grain, um, feel free to definitely use that Himalayan sea salt. But with that being said, um, when it comes to aftercare, everything that we recommend or I recommend myself to all my clients is what the Association of Professional Piercers recommends. It's the APP, they're kind of the governing board of the entire body piercing industry. Um, and just lately, um, as of recent, they've kind of switched over and only recommended saltwater sprays. You know, for the past two decades of my entire piercing career, the APP has always recommended saltwater soaks. Um, in that case, the Himalayan sea salts definitely do work. Um, but nowadays they're recommending the saltwater sprays or the saline sprays. So I would just say, just go ahead and save yourself a lot of time and a lot of headache from doing saltwater soaks and pick up some saline spray. Saline spray, you can get it anywhere. Like we sell it here on the site. You can get it at most body piercing studios um, near you. You can also pick it up at most pharmacies. Um, pick that up and you're just gonna spray that on your piercings morning and night. Pretty simple, just spray it on there and leave it alone. Um, but also with that being said, dude, I love saltwater soaks. I've been doing them for so long. I've seen such amazing results with them. So definitely um, do saltwater soaks if that's what you feel like you need. Um, pink Himalayan sea salt, make sure it's the fine grain. And uh, I think that should totally work great for all your saltwater soaking needs.